Hello everybody and uh, welcome to our payment runner demo. My name's Frank and I'm with the DECA software company. And I'm going to show you how you can process payments in Collections Max um, to Authorize.net, NMI, Gateways, and USA ePay. Um, this is our new payment runner system. So over here we have for today, we have seven payments. We have two declined. They were declined a few days ago and we have um, five pending payments so I'm going to show you how you can upload those to your gateway really simply okay so this here is payment runner these are the configuration settings I have it set to run automatically at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. I have an auto decline system it can automatically run these payments addition additional times I have it set to seven times before it marks it as reversed. Um, I can send an email to the debtor on a decline payment. I have a decline template that I made up and that'll send the email to the debtor to say that the payment was declined. And I can also notify them of expiring credit cards. So if they have a payment plan on file or something like that and um, the credit card's gonna expire before the end of the payment plan, it'll notify them 30 days in advance. So over here is the launcher, so let's see how uh, Payment Runner works. So this is Payment Runner. Uh, it's going to do some initializing and stuff like that. And then it's going to log into our server. And it's going to look for payments to process. So here it found five payments to process, so this thing does everything automatically. You don't have to do anything. We have a, an approval of $300 or $225. Uh, we're already on our second payment already. We did another one. And it's just going to keep going down the list for you. Okay, so it also it's going to reprocess our decline payments and when it does this it, if it declines again it's going to schedule it out for two two extra days before it processes it again okay so it was declined again and that one was declined Okay, so it's finishing up. It's going to generate a report for us and it's going to email it to us on everything that just happened. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few things here. Um, this here is the report and it's going to tell you all the ones that were uh, processed. It'll tell you it was declined, it'll tell you the reason, tell you when it was rescheduled and also tell you um, what it did. It also, like right here, it says expired credit card email to debtor. So it, tell, it told them that it was expired. So here's what the expired card looks like. Um, this is to inform you your credit card ending and whatever will be expiring soon. And then here is the decline payment. Um, your payment with a credit card ending, it was declined and the reason for the decline is, and you can put the decline reason, and you can tell them that it will be tried again on this date. So it does a lot of different things than what the normal Collections Max system has. And if you go over to our gateway here, you can see today's transactions. And I had one earlier today, but these ones were approved, these two were failed, it's already been up in the gateway. Um, it's a drop dead simple program, very easy to use. It does it by, you, like I said, you could set it up to run by itself and uh, it processes the payments for you automatically. Uh, thank you for watching our demo and um, I hope you like the product.